Hey guys, it's Austin here from Mountain Entertainment and welcome back to, what is this called? Northwest Texas. I forgot. Um. Alright, so for today, that does not have a PTO hitch, does it? Oh, huh, okay. Um. Did that? Okay, it did. So for today, we are going to be going to the store. Uh, we got to go pick up some headers for these and that in there so we gotta go do that and we also so we're gonna be doing a corn harvest today and we are also gonna be doing a or we're also gonna be um plowing that field over there that we harvested in last week epi last week's episode that was wednesday's video i believe so we are gonna be going to that I hope you guys are having a great Monday. I hope you guys also enjoyed the uh, video yesterday, kind of the throwback to my work series that we had a long time ago. If you were around then, or if you've came from uh, that series, uh, let me know down in the comments. So we'll be harvesting this field up here by the highway, and uh, I'm plowing like I said. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be doing two things today, just to get them out of the way, harvest and uh, plowing or cultivating, whatever you want to call it. Um, we'll probably hire workers to, why are they so far behind, uh, cultivate or plow that field and we'll probably harvest, maybe, I don't know yet. Um, I still haven't decided fully yet, so... But here's the field we'll be harvesting. It's a corn field. Um, and what other field do we have to harvest? Field 29 is also corn that we need to harvest. But I don't know when we'll get around to harvesting that. Because I do want to use the big buds uh, to plant. So. Yeah. Why are they so far behind? Gosh. Oh yeah, the big butt only does like 19 or 16. That's why. I thought I'd be helping by taking the slower vehicle. But then I remembered the big butt only <laughs> um, does... What is it? 16 or 19? I think the big one does 19. Alright, we're gonna turn out wide here, like just real wide, and we're gonna go on oncoming traffic, um, and stuff. Uh-oh. This is gonna be bad. Uh-oh, I can't get that off of there. Oh, there we go. Go, 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 go. Alright, let's make sure they don't get up on that railing, because that would suck. Okay. They're not wide enough. So, it's alright. So, it's been, like, raining and thundering here the last few days and I love it but the puppy she's freaking afraid of it like uh, last night it was thundering really bad and I got off work when it was like thundering and stuff I got home and ate dinner and then I went to bed and they went I brought them into bed or my room with me and they like she was running around looking up at the ceiling like it's gonna fall down on her she was scared. I felt so bad and I like tried everything I could to get her to calm down. But everything I tried, it wouldn't work. I tried to give her, well, it did work. I gave her blankets and a few pillows and that worked. Um, but other than that, uh, nothing else worked with her, which I kind of felt bad for because she was really scared. Um, no, you just stop right there, sir. 
You're only here because we needed. I didn't want to bring two harvesters. All right, we're selling this and buying its. What is it called? The Avalanche One Five Nine Six. I think that's how it's supposed to be. Ooh, main color wheel setup crawler track. Yes, please. And we'll go with the green. Uh, cheap eight eight. Uh, suggested that we use this. Oh, lag. Ah, uh, use that. So, thanks to you, chief. We're gonna be using that. All right. So header headers. Uh, is this the one that folds up? I want the one that folds up. If the I can. Okay, we'll buy one of those, and then we'll buy another one, and like, uh, I don't know. That looks like a John Deere green to me. Okay, thank you. Those are the ones that fold up. Eh, that might not be a John Deere green. But it's alright. has a PTO hitch. This thing is huge. This holds 53,000 I believe. So it's good. Oh whoops. I did not mean to hit that. Alright we'll load the... <coughs> oh. <coughs> Alright excuse me I'm so sorry. Okay we'll be Putting this one on the trailer. If we can even get it up on there. Oh, there's a thingy in the road. Alright, I know what we'll do. Because I figured that wouldn't be high enough to get it up on there. Um, so we'll just pull her on over here. And flip her around. Alright, so hopefully soon I'll have enough. I'm trying to save up not or six hundred dollars from work. Uh, to get an SCT tuner for my truck. Um, I was going to go with an Edge one. But they're a lot ex more expensive. Like $300 more expensive. And that's $300 I don't want to spend on just a tuner. And uh, I've heard better things from the SCT tuners. Because you can get like custom tunes on them. I don't know if you can on the edge ones, but from what I've seen, you can't. Um, so I'm going with an SCT live wire, and I wanted to make a video on it when I get it, um, or if I get it, um, because I want to do stuff for my on my truck on the channel more. Um, so yeah, all right, that might be a pain to get off of there but it'll be alright. Okay, let's just make sure. Okay. Perfecto. Alright, now we'll go pick up this one. And we'll take a look at this auger w trailer wagon thingy in a second. Um, let's just get this all ready to go. <coughs> oh. There's like a frog in my throat. Alright, we'll put that in front or behind this and that behind this. Okay, let's see. It's pretty big. Do the lights work? It's an S or a... Yeah, it, it better work if it's um, in a pack like this, I think. What's this dude's speed limit? Okay. Alright, that's good. Then we'll get this guy. 
I'm just worried about this guy uh, knocking that off because there's not a way to lock it down. Oh, you know what we should have done was the opposite. Put the John Gear one on here and this one on the thing. Okay. Alright, we'll set our limiter to 18. So let's bring this down. Alright, so I think I'll get this all there and I get everything set up and then I'll bring you guys back uh, before this gets too long. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Unless we get hit on this road, then I'll bring you guys back. And just like that, we are here. We only have one truck because the other one uh, still hasn't gotten repaired. It even hasn't even it hasn't even gotten looked at. Um, oh, we need to go to this one first and set it up. If it'll start, did we break another tractor? I might have cut through that field with this, but that's neither here or there. Correct. This thing is kind of heavy duty. Like, watch out for it, it'll kill you. Alright, oh, we missed some. No, uh, not allowed to miss some. Unless it's like, uh, okay, it's not, like, bugged. Like that, no. Okay, let's get up to this part right here. And we'll start this as a worker. And... Okay, now we gotta tab around. Okay, G, A, oh no, X. G, B, or G, B. No, G, B. Oh, it might have helped if the engine was started like it said I didn't know it wasn't started. Alright, so we are gonna be in the John Deere uh, for a little bit today. Um, over here, there's a auger wagon. Well, there's a semi. Oh, oh. All right, we're not gonna get in that mud too much. It looks like it's not really mud in the field, is it? Yeah, no. I know we got a plant over that, which is gonna be a little bit of pain, especially with the big buds. Those aren't very uh, easy to control in some mud situations like we got there. I don't know. If those things can't get out of the mud by themselves, they're useless for selling them. Those things have a thousand horsepower to the wheels from the factory. It'll out-drag your uh, Chevy Corvette the Z07 uh, with a nitrous kit. I don't even know. Is that even a thing, a Z07? I don't know. I'm not a big Corvette person. Uh, I know. I just don't like the look of Corvettes, really, <laughs> to be honest with you. They kind of look kind of dorky, to be honest. Alright, so... Uh, oh, I got the hiccups. We'll just take that off of there. What, this field's leaning, isn't it? Oh, look at that. That's leaning. That's like some off-road flexing stuff right there. Oh, I didn't get... Oh, I forgot about that. We'll just do that on camera. Um, I forgot to get all the other stuff ready or set up. Like the... <clears throat> Gosh, there's like a frog in my throat. Um forgot to get what is it called I can't think uh the plows ready I forgot about those I forgot about them I'm sorry mister uh Dingledorf okay let's we'll just do I need a screenshot because I have an idea for a thumbnail I want to try and make we need two screenshots at least um, and yeah, so I think let's start a worker here, and we'll go over and start, um, plowing. So 
so let's get this guy going. We'll bring our HUD back up just in case anyone needs help here. Um, even though I am the wrong person for them to call. All right, I hope this thing can pull that uh, plow. Better keep up, Mr. John Deere. <clears throat> Gosh, there's like a frog in my throat. I can't. It's like that nah, now. These are the clouds. Those are the cultivators, I believe. All right. Now we'll back it on up, like so. Alright, perfect. Alright, now let's go. These tractors are kind of the same if you look at them. And, um, oh, that guy almost flipped his plow. Look at him. He's like... Duke of, Dukes of hazarding it. Oh, one of my foam thingies fell off the wall. <laughs> that one keeps falling. I don't know why. Why can I take those corners at such a high speed and make it perfectly fine, but they can't? So, in between episodes, I tried bail cell points again to see if any of them would work none of them work um, so if you guys know of a mod I couldn't find one that you can sell bales to uh, let me know because we have all those bales and nothing to really do with them at the moment which kind of sucks alright let's get in Oh, that was like barely enough. I'm gonna have to get these guys started and go to helper H. Cause it has a full tank, almost. It's alright, we'll just get these guys going and then I'll uh, come and finish it. I hope these things can even, cause if you remember on Rattlesnake Valley, if you guys were around, um, these things would do like a weird hoppity skippity thing. It was weird. I don't know why. But I don't think they will. Because I think the harvesters might have done it. I don't know though. And I don't know if it was this mod that made him do it, or another mod in my game that did it. So. Yeah, see? I don't know why they do that. I don't know why. It might be these plows. We'll look into getting new plows. Cause I don't know why they do that. It's kind of annoying too. Yeah, we'll look into new plows guys, don't worry. Alright, I gotta get over to field or helper H. His tank is full. Okay, we'll just go over here. So this is how they're supposed to do it, but they don't do it this way. Alright, we'll go help them in a second. Yeah, I don't know 
lie. I'll look into getting new ones. I don't know why they do it. Um, darn it. Helper F is that one? HF, okay. Well, we'll unload that one after we unload this one. Where is he? Alright, I'll we'll just... This thing's having that. No, it's not. It's doing its speed limit. Not the governor thing he has on it, or whatever they call him. I like this track thing. Look at it, it's bouncing up and down. Oh look, there's mud over here. wonder if he got stuck in it almost. Because he had to go right through that, even with the... Not look for, yeah, he's all muddy. Oops. Didn't mean to hit you. Sorry, sir. Alright, we'll let him unload. And I think this is a perfect time to start a time lapse. I'll see you guys after the time lapse. <laughs> So, I don't know what this idiot was doing. <laughs> Look at this. This is a crop circle here, guys. <laughs> Gosh. What were you doing? That guy finished working and you just 
wanted to get paid by doing circles? What? Oh my god. He's been doing it for a while too, it looks like. Oh gosh, people. Alright, we're finishing up this field here. I need to start this thing back up. We'll go empty this real quick because it is at 90% full. Uh, actually, thinking about it, we gotta empty that too. Hopefully that's not too full. I think we'll be able to get about... We'll have about 10,000 left in here, I think. This field has a lot of mud in it. Don't know how that happened, but okay, like over there, there's a bunch of mud. Um, over there, here. I don't know if there's any more that way. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of both sides of the farm today. Or doing two things today. Um, doing the harvest and doing uh, the uh, plowing. I kind of went between both like halfway through. I Half of it I did the um, plowing and the other half I did the harvesting. Um, but I also was jumping back and forth, uh, getting in the big bud to empty all of the stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, something different. Um, and yeah, there is an update for this trailer. I, I was actually trying to install it. Um, I don't know what it offers. Um. Yeah, I don't know exactly what it offers, but it's, I don't know, upgrade, like, I saw, read something about tires, I also read, what else was there, hydraulic something, I don't know, um, we'll take a look at it, uh, maybe in the next episode, but I think you can paint the base color, maybe, I don't know, I didn't really, uh, it hasn't even downloaded fully. So we might have to sell this one to get the updated version of it. Which sucks, but that's something you got to do sometimes. Alright, we'll just flip this around real quick in this field. They won't mind, I hope, that we're compacting their field a little bit. Okay, now we'll get in the... Big bud will go empty that, then we'll bring it over here and dump it. We have a lot more than I thought. We only were able to get out 10,000. <clears> a <throat> little more than 10,000. Well, $4,000 in wage payments. So that's one, two, three, four. A thousand dollars. A little over a thousand dollars. Gosh, you guys are expensive here. Alright, let's see. We'll just pull up along this guy. I gotta pull this thing up. Yeah, he's not too full. Maybe not even halfway. Yeah, nah. Maybe a few thousand liters was in his tank it looks like which is alright with me because it makes our job a little bit easier like this thing is all muddy now did I <laughs> just realized I parked that in the mud oh, I hope it can uh, it has enough power by itself to get itself out of that I so hope so Big Bud has enough power to pull in. Well, the Big Bud turned sideways. I think this is like a inline, not a. Yeah, it's like an inline, not a V6. It's like Cummins, it looks like. Um, I don't know what motors these actually have. But it's not an actual Cummins, because if it was, I think that the turbo manifold would come out the side on the right and not out of the top like that does.
Okay, it, it can. Alright, that is actually pretty good. It can get itself out of that. If a big bud can't, I'm selling the big bud. But that's technically the little bud. Big bud and little bud. They're going to save the world. I think this is already over a 30 minute video. Not with the time lapse even in. Just like where I've been talking. Maybe. Or close to it. I. Okay. I need to get in this guy. So, uh, I don't know if you guys saw it in the time lapse, but when I hired the worker, I forgot there were a few bales left on this field, and he just kind of kept plowing through them. And I just kind of, I took over and pushed him <laughs> off the field. There is still a few on there. There's like four, maybe? Ah, no. I want to just come through, uh, clean up the edges, which that's not cleaning up the edges over there. But down here, he messed up a little bit uh, because the field kind of goes off that way a little bit. It's not a perfect uh, straight uh, field. That's the word I'm looking for. I think it is. I don't know. See how it kind of veers off this way? Yeah. Yeah, he missed this, which is alright. Uh, I didn't set him up to do this. I didn't even know this field did it, to be honest. I did not know it did it. Um, is that a field, or is that the edge of the map? That's the edge of the map. It's like, that's a pretty big field. Why then I remember? It's probably the edge of the map. See, here's like three bales and the rest are up there because I pushed them off. Because I was tired of them. Yeah, I forgot they were even here. <laughs> uh, like, I remember, oh, I gotta pick up bales on that field. Uh, I remembered this a few days ago. And then I forgot about it. And... This is what happens when you forget about things, guys. They get plowed through. <laughs> it sucks, but it is what it is. As you can see. Alright. I'll just... Come through here. Get this little bit here. And that's what we'll call it a day. See that he missed like half a wing of this thing. Like one wing, two wings. That's how I look at it. Alright, and let's go see how this guy did over here. Alright, like I said, I'll look for some plow mods or some more. If you guys have any suggestions for some, let me know. And, yeah. Alright, he looks like he did a pretty good job over here. Alright, that is it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Uh, we'll probably be planting this field with the big buds and probably plowing the field we just harvested. Uh, so that is it. I'll see you guys tomorrow on Wednesday or tomorrow for a Minecraft video. Thanks for watching and bye.